So this tutorial uses a uh, new new technique. I mean, not new technique, but I just found out what it is. Uh, it removes all your motor locking. No more motor locking. It's magnet lock. So these are the settings you're gonna need first for your magnets. You can use this with a bunch of different stuff, but um, equal. Uh, you can use any two keys. This is the key you're gonna be pressing. This is the key you're going to be pressing. You're going to have range 5, strength 10. I mean, depends. It varies on where you're at. But toggle, weld, super strength. And then you're going to go anchored block. Um, block, block. P, uh, PVP block. Sign. You can go text 1 by 3. And then make sure this is on, like, um, semicolon or whatever keys to do the final clip. Motor 2 face forwards, these settings, these settings right here, and then grab your magnet again, and it's going to use the earlier before set settings, this is kind of a, this is the universal setting, you're going to be using the toggle weld super strength for everything, so, uh, for any kind of camera, um, uh, for any kind of, let me think there, magnet locking, That's, I forgot what magnets were called. But anyways, um, two blocks here. Put another anchored block. You go M physics, and then you're going to build another. You can use this using TNT disconnectors or springs. This, um, this uh, springs are the best choice. There. Actually, this is way too tall. This is a little bit taller. Let me just slightly reduce the height. Um, because this, it does go a little farther though, so it does it can't be directly against it. So we'll start we'll start off with our first one right here. Um, you're gonna put at uh, one camera. You're gonna put it place it right there. Motors. I mean not one camera. You put the camera on the end, sorry. Camera, eight nine. Place, place. PvP block. I think the wrong thing. Uh, let me grab the settings on this one. So this one I'd use semicolon two. The same thing, whatever you're using for this one, use for that one. Then you're going to go normal block, and then you're going to place a camera, or you can use normal block. It depends. It's just the connection between this. You can use a normal block if you want. I just use a camera because I mean, it kind of, it's invisible and it highlights what uh, what magnet lock is. And then you're going to go motors one by two. You're gonna alt and alt face backwards. You're going to go like this. One, two, three. Be equals. And then you can go up farther again. Go about two up. That's the minimum distance you can have between these two is a dif difference of two. But once you have that difference of two, um, wait, let me flip this one back around. This is what it'll look like too, so it should be the exact same pattern. Block. The same thing except this time you're just going normal. normal block, block. Okay, you're not ha you don't have something turning it. And you're gonna go semicolon. And then you're gonna go texts one by two and trails is where you're gonna need now. So you're going to go one to make sure there's one space in between them and the motors it should and make sure you all have black squares i'll put the um put the amount in chat so i mean not in chat but um it's a live stream but in the description and then you're going to grab text one by threes you're going, going to go one two one two one two Oh gosh, give me a sec. I, I didn't fully set it up right. You gotta have... Did I not... Did I grab the wrong one? No, I thought I grabbed the wrong one. There we go. Now it wants to work. I I got... I got... Give me a sec. I grabbed a one by two on accident. But anyways, you want to make sure... They're all 62.99 is the setting on text size for all of these. 
once you have all of that done, all you need to do last is go trails. Grab a just, just grab a trail. Make sure it's on equals. So you're not you don't have to push it equals zero zero or backspace. Either works. I use normal. Normally do equals though. Control C. Okay, let me control C. Okay, and then place this right here under all of these. Like that. No wait. Just like that. Oh wait, I forgot to place both of the things here for this one. Actually, actually no, just the bottom. Text one by three. Is it? There we go. That's the right way. So once, all, make sure all of your sides have everything. Then go grab. You can grab if this is optional. If you want to continue it by to do this, just so it blends easier, blends better with the rest of your build. So like while you're thrust vectoring, you'll have you can just continue the pattern technically, just so that the rest will blend with your build. And then once you've done that. You are almost set, just grab some springs, just kind of, uh, PvP blocks, whatever. These springs just show them that they work. You can go, and then use a, you're gonna press, you're gonna clip this part before you clip this, uh, this part. So do a different key. Like, I use O, um, because I'm gonna press this first, um, before I press the rest of those. So, just grab O. In the middle, go cylinders. And then you can spawn in. Once you've spawned in, make sure that. Oh, oh, oh wait, I forgot. Give me a sec, I forgot one thing. And that was this. Grab, you can grab these signs. You gotta make sure you connect to these. Three, one, two, three. Make sure they're all facing this direction towards those, um, towards those pointy trails. And then once that is all done. You should be able to spawn in. Make sure that it wants to aim, uh, aim inwards after you spawn in. Then you're gonna go start off by angling this bottom one. I used eight and nine, just whatever setting you want. Make sure it's locked or uh, yeah, locked. These are gonna be clicking together. And then once that is done, you clip those two together. And then you're gonna want to click the key used for your magnet. Once that is done, you can find use the final clip key. Oh, give me, give me a sec. I forgot to um, I give me a sec. I forgot to put an extra camera here for the top one. That is a vital part of this build, actually. Um, yeah, you have to have your main pilot seat connected. Um, I think for to your main to the rest of your build that's connected to your magnet, um, or else it doesn't want to work as well. I think. Um, yeah, it looks like just make sure your main pilot seat is connected to the main block that's connected to all your different magnets. Um, for your belt, uh, but the other part doesn't matter where it is. So, and once that's done, you have your new afterburner thrust vector system. You can aim it down, aim it up, turn it as much or as little different as your speed. You can add some engines in the middle of here. You can like you can change the amount of um, stuff you clip. You could put a large engine in there, uh, or like a huge jet engine, whatever you want, um, or you could just put like a small hover engine in the middle of it. As long as you put it all in the right spot before tr using your magnet um, and connect make sure you connect them to that that block too uh, if you have like hover engine or star super rocket engine but yeah that is it to set up your stuff and it uses um, magnet locking so you can use this for anything else you want to use equals right bracket 5 10 you can change the range just make sure strength is on max toggle weld and super strength line up all the blocks you want you can clip them together this will work for like canopies anything you want so but yes, that is it. Um, like, subscribe, and this was the tutorial. <laughs> I love how you guys are seeing bench pressing your faces up against the wall because you want in the tutorial. No.